Number five, determine the molecular mass of the following compounds. And then we have this mess, <laughs> letter B, right? But basically what it breaks down to is I only see two different types of elements here, right? I see a bunch of carbons, right? Uh, maybe I'll make that circle bigger. I see a bunch of C's, AKA carbons. And I see a bunch of H's, right? I see an H over here, an H over here, H over here. So whenever they give it to you in like this type of drawing, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what is the chemical formula, because that's easier to find out the molecular mass. Now just take note guys that when we have to find a mass, I don't care about these lines. Pretend that they're not even there. Okay. These lines have nothing to do with the mass of the compound. These have everything to do with how the elements are bound together. In this case, these are covalent bonds represented by single lines for a single bond and a triple line for a triple bond. But since electrons are very, very, very negligible in terms of mass, we technically don't even count them. So let's just group together all of the carbons and all the hydrogens. Now, how many total carbons do we see in this compound? I see four, one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to say that this is C4. And now let's figure out how many hydrogens. One, two, three, four, five, six. So H six, this is much easier to work with when finding a molecular mass than this bunch of jazz. Okay. So with the molecular mass, just like we've been doing, we just list out all the individual elements. So in this case, we have two of them, C and H. You say how many of each you have. So for example, for carbon, we just said that we had four carbons and for hydrogen, we said that we had six. Now, all you have to do is just multiply these values by the mass that you see on the periodic table. Just know guys, right? There are going to be whole numbers, one and six for hydrogen and carbon. And then there's going to be these decimal values. The mass number is the decimal value. These are the average masses of a hydrogen and a carbon. So this is, you could say it's either the mass number or the atomic mass, but the word mass has to be in what you say that it is. The one and the six are the atomic number. No mass in there, guys. Atomic number is the number of protons. Remember your mass is your protons and neutrons. Since we're dealing with the small, small, small scale of molecules and atoms, we're going to be using the unit AMU. AMU stands for atomic mass unit. So all we have to do is just multiply how many we have by what is the average uh, atomic mass of each element. So for carbon, I'm going to say that it's going to be four times 12.01 AMU. And then for hydrogen, it's going to be six times 1.008 AMU. And let's see what we get. So four times 12.01 is uh, 48.04 AMU. And then for hydrogen, let's see, six times 1.008, I get 6.048. AMU. And now we want to find the total molecular mass. So if we want to total it all up, we add, you guys got it right. There you go. So all we got to do is just add the two components together. So 6.048 plus 48.04. And we get a whopping 54.088 AMU. And that is the molecular mass of the entire compound. And that's it. Now, if you wanted to do sig figs, right? If we, if we need to do sig figs, I personally have, don't care, right? <laughs> Just more work. But if your teacher or professor cares, maybe he might want you to round according to sig fig rules when you add, right? So since you have the lowest, uh, total of two sig fig places, you, you have sig figs all the way to the hundredths place. You have to only have it to the hundredths place. So technically, you know, this would be 54.09, but check with your teacher or professor if they care about sig figs. I don't. So I'm just going to leave it like this and that's it guys. 
Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and if you don't subscribe, that's okay. We're still going to help you out anyway. All right? So, love you guys. Thank you so much. And maybe we'll get you in the next video. All right? We have math videos and physics videos as well, if you guys are in those classes. And, yeah, good stuff. <laughs> I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.